Hi guys, uh, Bob here. Just going to um, do an updated uh, walkthrough on how to get the Lyra animations into a clean project and uh, get rid of the C++ dependencies. Okay, um, first off what we'll do is we'll jump into the Lyra starter game project and uh, in here, first off we're just going to um, right click on the uh, under the content, characters, heroes, mannequin, animations, right click on the animation blueprint, mannequin base, and from here we'll duplicate it. Just call it copy. Jump in here. And under the class settings, under parent class, we will set it down to the standard in an instance instead of the Lyra one, I'll reparent it. We'll end up with a, a couple of little errors popping up here. Um, we'll just move this to one side for now. The uh, full body aiming, we can fix that up later. It's um, no big deal. And also the get ground distance, um, it's a C++ variable there, so we'll just create a replacement and set it to negative one. Compile and save it. Okay, so now our copy is all ready to take across to our new project. So we'll um, jump in, create a new project, third person template just to get the uh, controls. Okay, so once we're on here, we'll enable a couple of um, animation plugins. We we'll want the animation locomotion library, and also the animation warping, which uh, is the one with the stride orientation and slope warping. Uh, we'll just restart it and uh, make sure it's all nice and correct. Okay, cool. I've uh, stayed there. Okay, we'll jump back into the Lyra starter game and we'll go up to the um, heroes level and uh, right click on the mannequin folder go down to migrate have all the uh, dependencies it'll be good okay we just look at the uh, other project show an explorer it's uh, my project two under the master projects. Just do that again. Sorry, we'll go into the uh, highlight for content folder, select, and then click on. We'll click on no. Okay, now we'll be Lyra starter game. Um, we'll just drop that down out of the way. Shouldn't need it uh, anymore. Now in here we'll have our characters and we'll have our heroes folder. Okay, we'll jump into the heroes folder. Go into mannequin. Animations. Down here. We'll just um, F2, Control C to copy the name, and then we'll delete that completely uh, here. F2, Control V, replace the name. 
Okay, let's see. It should be all right. Save all. Save current. Jump into. Oh, what have we done there? Let's have a quick look through. Okay, this is uh, one of our browns distance here. Everything should be okay in there. Now we look in our linked layers one here. Everything um, between the layer base and the uh, mannequin base is transferred through our interface here. Just jump in here and see if everything is all right. Compile, save, no errors popping up, which is good. Um, sometimes the uh, links will be broken. In the um, let's see, get main component, it's all good. Read save, all good. Yep. Now, what we'll do is go back to our third person blueprints and our third person character blueprint now under our um, third person character thanks to uh, a guy called ryan oh i'm gonna butcher his last name m u o i o um dropped a really good hint here and here we um just set up a let's see what was it called linked anim class layers um derived from our mesh you can just pull that out there you know and in here we will select uh let me see unarmed anim layers we'll have a, a quick look in here all the um, different variables and we'll go into show inherited variables you see what we've got here um, automatically get populated so if we um, look at our crouch walk cardinals here everything's nicely populated here and um, putting this in here like so will allocate um, all the uh, variables to whatever um, main um, item anim layer base that we're using that's a really good thing to know okay we'll jump into the viewport we will um, get rid of uh, we'll select one of the lyra ones Let's see is it quinn yep and the animation will be our ABP mannequin base. Boom, there we go, all working nicely. And we'll just, um, let's see if I um, won't bother about the uh, egg notifiers. But as, as we see, it's all nice and set up. Okay, it's working. Adds. Um, Yep, and uh, let's see, food, uh, where are we? Food person here, follow camera, we'll just jump into a rotation and use the button control rotation. Okay, a quick look here. Use Uh, there we go okay so now we've got our strafing working nice and easy okay and uh, we'll just jump back into the event graph here and um let's see let's 
set up a little um, cube thing here. Get this out of the way. Copy and paste it over here. And um, let's see. And here, if we change this to, let's say, still anim layers. Uh, let's see if the Q will work. We, we change to the uh, still anim, anim layers here. Yep. Really? Just uh, set up a flip flop in here. And it's a uh, control D for duplicating. And uh, let me see to be unarmed, which again. So we can just uh, see an action a little bit clearer. So if you're picking up weapons or equipping equipping different weapons, um, you can just use a, a simple thing like that. I think in the Lyra one, they derive it from the pickup class and use either uh, gameplay ability tags or um, different cues to set it off.